Governments worldwide are increasingly taking climate change seriously. Temperature swings, extreme weather events, biblical flooding, and scorching wildfires all threaten to disrupt our lives. The culprit? Carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. As international agreements target emissions reductions, eyes are turning to the world's biggest polluters, who are spewing out CO2 by the ton. In fact, just 25 megacities produce 52% of the world's urban greenhouse gas emissions. Yet with these cities housing tens of millions of people, they're not always amongst the worst offenders. To understand who's producing the most CO2, one study evaluated 343 cities for emissions biggers between 2011 and 2017. Before we begin, be sure to hit the like button to help us out. We're on a mission to explore some of the most polluted cities in the world. Let's dive in! Here are the 10 most CO2-producing cities in the world. Number 10. Houston, USA With a population of 2.2 million, it's not surprising Houston struggles with CO2 emissions. However, despite proclaiming its commitment to increased mass transit, greater cycle and pedestrian access, and electric vehicle incentivization, Houston has done little to ease congestion and CO2 production. In 2020, the U.S. Transportation Climate Index ranked Houston 98 out of 100 Sunbelt cities for transport inefficiency. Only Phoenix and Dallas fared worse. Emissions of methane, nitrous oxide, and carbon dioxide have shockingly risen 127% in the past 30 years. According to the study in 2014, Houston produced 33.43 million tons of CO2 equivalent emissions, with 16.08 million tons produced by transport, industrial, waste, and local power plants, the 17th highest in the study. Transportation alone was responsible for 48% of the city's total greenhouse gas output. ExxonMobil has floated a proposal to alleviate the problem. With a $100 billion or more investment, companies and government agencies could store 50 million metric tons of CO2 from petrochemical plants and bury them deep under the Gulf of Mexico by 2030. There's even the potential to double the capacity by 2040. Whether the plans go ahead remains to be seen, but it would help solve Houston's emission dilemma. Number 9. Rotterdam, Netherlands Back in 2016, Rotterdam's total emissions were 34.19 million tons of CO2 equivalent emissions, with 17.84 million tons from transport, industrial, waste, and power generation. As one of the world's busiest ports, it's hardly surprising. But the Dutch city is now taking significant action to curb emissions. Already, Rotterdam has seen a 21% drop in power plant emissions in recent years, achieved via a 40% national increase in renewable energy. That translated to a 27% drop in total carbon emission between 2016 to 2020. Looking forward, the Dutch government recently agreed to subsidize a 2 billion euro carbon capture project in the port. The proposal plans to store 2.5 megatons of carbon dioxide in empty gas chambers, some 20 kilometers off the coast. After decades of rising CO2 levels, Rotterdam is finally getting hold of its emissions. Number 8. Taoyuan, Taiwan An unexpected entry on the list, Taoyuan is rapidly developing. Located in the north of Taiwan, Taoyuan was only designated a city in 2014, surprisingly. Since then, the population has grown at breakneck speed. The region is now the fifth largest populated city and fourth largest metropolitan area in Taiwan. Indeed, Taoyuan has witnessed the fastest population growth of all Taiwanese cities in recent decades, and its population continues to increase rapidly. With rapid growth comes significant emissions. When Taoyuan first became a city back in 2014, it was pumping out 35.75 million tons of CO2 equivalent emissions. With the ninth highest from transport, industry, waste, and power generation, and the eighth highest for energy produced outside the city limits. Little has changed as global companies like Cisco, Apple, and Microsoft flock to this engine of growth, compounding CO2 emissions throughout the city. Nevertheless, Taoyuan is taking action, as there is a growing investment in solar, wind, and hydraulic power. Time will tell if Taoyuan can fuel its future growth with renewable energy. Number 7. London, UK it seems fitting that the city once renowned for its smog-ridden streets should still be a top polluter today. The former engine of the Industrial Revolution continues to churn out CO2 emissions. Back in 2013, 40.19 million tons of CO2 equivalent emissions were pumped into the atmosphere, with transportation being the primary culprit. But the city is taking action. London Mayor Sadiq Khan's ultra-low emission zone is one of the most ambitious solutions worldwide, covering 3.8 million people and large sections of the city. The new rules stiffen requirements for drivers, or else they face substantial fines. Moreover, despite substantial population growth, 
London has witnessed a 29% reduction in 1990 emission levels and a 37% reduction since peak emissions in 2000. Today, the British capital produces 32.4 million tons of CO2 equivalent emissions. Even more impressive is per capita emissions, which dropped by 45% between 1990 and 2018. Even with these improvements, there's still a long way to go. But with ever more measures being implemented to tackle CO2 emissions and improve air quality, things are slowly improving. Number 6. Hong Kong Prior to the pandemic, Hong Kong was not on track to meet its emissions reduction targets. Per capita emissions have stagnated since the late 90s at just over 6 tons, and annual CO2 emissions have remained around 40 million tons of CO2, roughly 40.1 in 2019. Compared to Asian cities of similar size and development, Hong Kong is lagging behind, despite rising prosperity. Indeed, its emissions from transport, industry, waste and power generation were the second highest in the study. The city has been slow to transition from coal, counting increased natural gas usage as a sign of progress. Electricity generation remains the dominant source of emission, having to power tens of millions of homes, accounting for over 65% of total emissions, followed by the transport sector at 18.1%. There are some signs of hope for this Asian megacity. Power companies are continuing to phase out coal-fired powered stations, which will reduce CO2 emissions. Already coal-fired electricity generation declined from 59% in 2014 to 44% in 2019. But with most of the world moving towards a renewable framework, Hong Kong risks being left behind. We're now halfway through our video. We hope you're enjoying exploring all the most CO2-producing cities in the world. From continent to continent, we have more places to explore. If you're still with us, comment climate change below. Number 5. Seoul, South Korea Like Hong Kong, Seoul is also falling behind in the race to decarbonize. The city of 10 million people is the economic hub of South Korea and a critical urban center for the entire region. But its reliance on coal-fired powered plants is undermining global efforts at CO2 reduction. Some critics even suggest the country's existing and planned coal plant will still be functional in 2050. Korea as a whole was the third largest provider of public finance for fossil fuels, with energy use per capita in Korea twice that of the G20 average. Following Hong Kong's example, Seoul does not plan to replace its coal power generation with renewable energy. Rather, liquefied natural gas is the proposed alternative. In 2013, the city produced 47.61 million tons of CO2 equivalent emissions, with just under half produced outside the city boundary, the second highest in the study. Still, despite the dismal picture, Seoul continues to set ambitious targets. Seoul plans to install solar panels on every public building and 1 million homes by 2022. But with only 100 tons of CO2 cut from solar panels in 2019, more needs to be done. Number 4. New York City, USA While the Big Apple aims for net zero by 2050, the city remains a long way from succeeding. A colossal 53.31 million tons of CO2 equivalent emissions were churned out in 2015. But after a series of devastating storms, including 2012's Superstorm Sandy, which killed 43 people, New York is finally taking emission reductions seriously. As sea levels rise, the city's future may depend on it. Efforts to decrease emissions over the past decade made New York's energy generation the cleanest in the U.S. However, transportation remains a lingering problem. Controversially, the city plans to implement a congestion charge, mirroring London, and 70% of electricity is targeted to be renewable by 2030. The coronavirus shutdown reduced congestion and improved air quality. During the lockdown, CO2 levels dropped by up to 10%, and the city's normal haze disappeared potentially preventing lung disease and associated deaths. It's yet another reason to embrace emission reduction. Number 3. Kaohsiung, Taiwan Like Taiwan in general, Kaohsiung is heavily reliant on fossil fuels for its industry and economic growth. In 2014, the city was producing an enormous 58.76 million tons of CO2 equivalent emissions per year, of which 43.5 million tons went towards transport and industrial purposes, the third highest in the study. Khao Siung is a coastal city located near the southern tip of the island. With almost 3 million people, it's the economic and political center of southern Taiwan. Indeed, the city alone is responsible for a quarter of Taiwan's carbon dioxide emissions. Unlike Taoyuan, however, Khao Siung is stepping up its emission mitigation efforts, signing up to the Greenhouse Gas Emissions Analysis Protocol alongside Taipei. In fact, between 2005 and 2017, the city managed to reduce its overall carbon footprint by over 13%. The Kaohsiung Harbor Bureau also plans to use 49 hectares of reclaimed land to develop a solar energy industrial district, with the city already an industry leader in renewable energy. For other East Asian cities, Kaohsiung is leading the way in emissions reduction. Number 12. Incheon, South Korea 
South Korea's third largest city is increasingly trying to shed its image as a major polluter. The city ranked first for transport, industrial, waste and local power generation, with total emission in 2015 of 67.79 million tons of CO2 equivalent emissions. As an international city, Incheon is host to numerous global enterprises, including Samsung and a major Korean industrialization center. However, in recent years the city has invested in a new business district, pioneering green technology, and a pneumatic waste disposal system eliminating the need for waste collection. Indeed, in contrast to the wider nation, Incheon has developed a roadmap to increase the renewable energy share to 11% by 2035, and the city reducing greenhouse gas emissions to 42.6% compared to the standard of 33,422 tons of CO2 equivalent emissions. The city also hosts the Green Climate Fund, an international organization addressing environment issues further bolstering its climate change credentials. Still, the city lags significantly behind world-leading cities like Copenhagen. You're nearly at the end of our video. We're on a mission to explore all of Earth's amazing destinations. We're about to showcase the number one spot on our top 10 list, so don't miss out. Make sure you subscribe, that way you'll always be notified of our latest videos. Number 1. Tokyo, Japan The world's largest metropolitan area is unsurprisingly the worst CO2 emitter. As with most megacities, Tokyo struggles to implement emissions-reducing technologies on the grand scale of this monumental city. Nevertheless, action is being taken to reduce emissions. The Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games, for example, was projected to offset more than 100% of the carbon emissions released as part of the sporting event, approximately 2.73 million tons of CO2. Furthermore, the city is pushing ahead with a bold plan to introduce hydrogen-fueled vehicles. 19 hydrogen fueling stations were installed across the city in 2020 alongside 70 fuel cell buses. Tokyo's governor revealed a zero-emission Tokyo strategy in the same year, detailing a transition to renewable energy and net-zero targets by 2050. Biomass, geothermal, hydrogen, hydroelectric, solar and wind energy were all positioned as potential solutions, with smart homes being utilized to minimize energy consumption. The world awaits the results of this grand experiment. Hey, we've come to the end of our video. Thanks for watching. Want to suggest a video or have something to say? Let us know in the comments section below. Check out our Cities playlist for more videos like this one.